All right, so welcome to our final section, section six, building our projects. So in section six, we are really just gonna have two videos here. And for each video, I'm gonna go through how I created two different projects. The first project was an AR business card that I made using A-Frame and AR.js. The second project, which I created, was an histogram, an AR histogram with R.js. So nothing really too new here. We're just going to be really using what we learned with a couple of small new things mixed in as well. But pretty much everything is going to be what you have already seen and what you have already done. If you would like to, you can go ahead and just start building your own projects before watching these videos. And actually, I would highly recommend that you do that to really test yourself. After you finish, I would love to see what you have made. So you can be sure to tweet me at dwisex1 on Twitter. So if you would like to, you can go ahead and turn off this video right now and you can start building out an AR business card using A-Frame and AR.js and the histogram using R.js. If you would like to, you can still follow along and see how I built my projects. And if you would like to, you can even try to make my own projects that I have done here even better and you can actually make like a better version of it. I would love to see what you have created, so be sure to tweet out to me regardless. Let's get started here with video one, creating an AR business card with A-Frame and AR.js. So just a quick overview of what we will be doing here. We will be creating an AR business card with A-Frame and AR.js that will display business information such as your professional title, your occupation, the company you work for, social media information, and any other information as well. We will add a photo of yourself or your company's logo. I actually added just a headshot of myself. In order to make your application look more attractive, we will actually be uploading a 3D model into AR.js. Uh, we actually didn't cover this in the first section. However, I am going to show you how to do it. It's actually really simple. And we will be adding a couple of objects with some small animations to make our scene look really cool. For more information on uploading certain model formats to AR.js, you can check out this post here on the medium.com. I actually had to look it up to see how to upload a object formatted model. There's a lot of different model formats that are supported with AR.js, so don't worry about that. And it's really straightforward to how to actually upload it. Uh, they do a really great job explaining it. And if you would like to, you can also deploy your project to Heroku if you wish to. I will not be doing that, but I do have my projects already hosted. But if you would like to, you can just go back to Section 5 and you can look at how to do it If you, in case if you forgot. I already have my projects already hosted up, so I will actually show you you know, the project locally on my computer. But yeah, if you'd like to go ahead and try. So anyway, let's get started here. So I did the Liberty and actually just went ahead and started creating the file structure of the business card. So in here, I'm just gonna go through the different materials that I have within the file structure. So I have the AR.js and A-Frame files right over here, the JavaScript files that I just ripped out of the API. Along here, I also have the model that I chose. So I'm actually gonna use this little robot OBJ formatted model right over here. And then in the textures, I have my headshot and I also have a design for the car. So let's get into our code. Let's open it up with Sublime Text. So a couple of things here with the structure here. First off, I required the two files here, the aframe.min.js and the aframe ar.js scripts. And on top of this, I also have the whole scene set up to get ready for rendering onto our marker. So I have the A scene here with the embedded ARJS, the tracking method is best. I also have the anchor here with hit testing enabled, which is true. I have the anchor and I have our camera set up. So make sure that your file looks just like mine. And we are gonna get started here with basically creating our whole scene. So first off, let's get our model into our application. So what we are gonna do here is we're gonna create an A entity and we're going to go inside the entity and what we're going to do is we're going to position the model at about 0 0.5, negative 2, and 0 0.5. Now jump down. And now here we're going to scale our model. So OBJ models can actually be quite large. So if you have to, you can be sure to scale it to, to a really low digit. So mine's actually at just 0.10 across the board. So then after that, then we are actually going to upload our OBJ model. So mine doesn't have any materials to it. It's just a plain robot model. So you don't have to worry about loading up materials here. 
However, if you want to load up a material, it's actually very similar to the OBJ model, which we will be doing right now. And just like that. So now we have the entity closed off. So let's just drop that down to make it look a little bit more cleaner. And now I guess we can go ahead and test this out on our marker and see if it is actually rendering. So let me get my marker up. And let's jump into Firefox for this one, just because it is really good for testing out different 3D models. You can also test it out on Chrome. I actually did get it to work on Chrome. However, I do just favor using Firefox for this. And there's our model. Okay, so it's right there. So let's continue on now. So we have something working. Let's go ahead now and create a couple of animations and objects. So what I had in my scene was I actually had a couple of spheres and these spheres would basically turn different colors over time. So it kind of gave like a cool little effect to the different coloring and like, you know, kind of like flashing lights above the robot. So let's create a couple of spheres here. Okay, so we have one sphere created. Now let's add an animation. So right here, I'm going to be changing the color of the sphere. And if you may recall, I will be using indefinite right here in order to get this to continue rendering the color. Uh, animation. So we're basically going to be going from from white to green here. And uh, basically this is going to keep going with the cube. So let's head back over to our code and let's just see how this looks. And right now I'm testing it in Chrome. So you can actually see right now the model's not uploading. So this can actually be a bit of a problem for some people. So I'm just going to keep testing in Firefox. For some reason Firefox just is a lot better with uploading 3D models with JavaScript. And there, so we have our circle right there and the animation is currently going. There we go. So it's going from white and slowly is changing over to green. Okay, cool. So I kind of like that little effect going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually duplicate this a couple of times. So I'm going to create two more spheres. And in here, and I'm just going to change the color. So we're going to have blue, white to blue. And we're also going to have white to red. And let me just change the positioning here. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So this is actually how I kind of want it to look. So I have three different cubes around the robot in like a triangle format, and they're both flashing the different colors. Cool. Okay, so now we have a little little scene going on here that has some interesting stuff going on there. But now we actually have to create what this whole application was supposed to be for, which is our business card. So in order to get started here, I'm going to create a plane. And inside this plane, I am going to set the height to about 3, the width to about 3, and the color is going to be gray. And the position will be negative two, one, zero. So right next to my robot. Okay, so let's see how this appears. So once again, let's open up. And actually, for right now, I think I'm just going to leave Firefox open and I'm just going to refresh the page. Okay, so it's right next to our robot. It's actually a pretty big card right now. So that's pretty good because we actually want it to display a good amount of information. But our card looks a little bit plain. So if you may recall, I actually have a texture uploaded right here along with my headshot. So this texture right here, I actually want to apply to my business card. So if you can see, it has like this cool little design to it, kind of a metallic looking, maybe like ancient structure looking to it. So let's head back to our code and let's apply this texture to a plane. So we're going to create a source and I'm just going to type in the path. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Okay, I actually really like that design there for the card. So 
Now let's go on to our next thing and let's actually add some information to our card. So I want my card to read my name, my position, and then just fake information about me, like where I'm working. I will include some information about me as well. And I will include my actual Twitter handle as well. <laughs> so let's create an A text. And in here, I'm gonna give it the value. And basically the value is gonna be a very, very long string. So let me just copy this over and I'll explain it. All right, so I'm gonna copy over some information. So what this is gonna say is it's gonna have a couple of spaces in the beginning and um, it's gonna place my name, Daniel Wise, Augmented Reality Developer, a couple of more spaces underneath that. And my fake company name is gonna be called arbots.com. Then after that, I'm gonna have my Twitter handle. This is my real Twitter handle. A couple of spaces underneath that, my fake telephone number, and then a couple of spaces after that, and then something at gmail.com. So let's give this here a little positioning and we'll adjust the height and the width and the coloring will be white. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Okay, so it's towards the far left of the card, so you might have to move the marker around a little bit, but you can see my information there, just how I wanted it to be. So it has my name, my title, the company that I work for, uh, the, my phone number, and my social media information. Okay, so really cool. So now the last thing that I want to put on my card is pretty much my headshot photo. So let's create an A image. And in this image, we're just going to require the source. And my headshot was found also in the textures folder. Then after that, we will adjust the width, height, and position. All right, just one last check, and this should honestly do it for our card. All right, there we are, there's my face. <laughs> so our card is done. Our, we have our 3D model there, we have the lights triggering that animation. You can actually move the card up around a little bit, and you can actually see the third dot right there behind the card a little bit. But yeah, my information is right there. So we made a pretty cool little AR business card right there. So hopefully now, you can actually create some really cool, uh, simple AR applications using A-Frame and AR.js. You can add some animations to those and make some cool business cards representing yourself and or your business.